I'm Grace, KM4TXT, and welcome to HamRadio.World. So during a disaster, a lot of people want to do things like run their computers, charge radios, and stuff like that. Stuff that could be plugged into a wall if there's power. But they can't do that when there's no power. So we are showing how you can do that, which you can use with an inverter. And with this, we are testing the in which inverters are better. Here we have a Samlix power inverter and a cheap Walmart inverter. So let's see the difference. Okay, so Grace, what we're gonna do is we're going to use our Tektronix um, oscilloscope and we are going to look at the waveform of what's coming out of the inverter. Now, we're not going to blow up the oscilloscope because the oscilloscope is plugged into the wall while the inverter is plugged into the battery. So we're not going to get a ground loop and we're not going to have the AC go through here and get the smoke out of here. So what we've done is I'm going to be doing it. We're going to tap this, this here um, with, some, with some little nails that are plugged in. And we're going to take the probe after we plug in the inverter and we're going to touch it and then we're going to go over here and see what the waveform looks like and we'll talk about it okay so I want you to take the battery all right and then take the inverter and plug it in no let's, let's be careful all right so the inverter is on, you can let go of it. So the inverter is on, it's making 120 volts out of our 14 volts that are coming out of our bio power battery. So let's take a look and see what does our waveform look like? Rectangles yeah, with so a tuft of hair. So it's, uh, let's see. The RMS voltage is what, 115 volts? Yep. What is the frequency on channel one? You see that? The next one down? Yep, 60.75, 60.74 hertz. That's close to 60 hertz. But does that look like a sine wave? No. Okay, so do you think you'd want to plug Daddy's MacBook Pro into that? No. No, that doesn't look like that would be a good, a good, um, idea so go ahead and unplug this inverter go with natural things go ahead and un unplug the inverter now what we're going to do now that this is turned off the lights off i'm going to unplug it i'm going to take this off and unplug it or actually you go ahead and unplug it and then plug it into the sandwich inverter It's unplugged, right? The plug is here. There's the plug. There's the plug. Don't plug it in. We've got our our screws over here, or our, our nails. So I'm going to connect it. All right. Now go ahead and plug it in. Is it plugged in? It's hard to do. All right. So it's turned off. Since we have 120 volts over here exposed, I'm going to reach over here and turn it on. Okay, so it's on, but we don't have any waveform. How come? You forgot the main part, the okay. pin looking So, thing. we're going to connect the probe to it. Now, look at that. What does that look like? Hills. <laughs> Instead of a hairy It looks square. like a pure sine wave, doesn't it? Yeah. How many volts do we have? One hundred twenty one. Do you see that? Uh oh now I see what okay. I look. And the frequency is between fifty nine point nine five and sixty point oh two hertz. So this kind of sine wave is much better for your computer 
for your battery chargers. Sometimes even um, power tools or a microwave or a small refrigerator won't run properly unless it has a pure sine wave. So let's look at this here. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it and turn it off. All right, so it's turned off, unplug it. All right, so, so let's talk about this for a second. You can look at the camera or, or look at me while we're talking. So how did we figure this out? We, we need to have a way to go from battery power or solar power with a battery to 120 volts to run things like what? Computers, charge radios, anything pretty much that needs to be plugged into the wall. Yeah, um, coffee maker, if somebody wants to do coffee, if it's less than like 150, 160 volts. A taco cooker. A taco cooker, <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Okay, so we tried this one that we got from Walmart made by Powerline. It says it's 200 watts maximum, okay? And it had a really trashy looking square wave on it, right? This is how I consider them. Would you rather have a rectangle head with a tuft of hair or a rounder head? I'd rather have the rounder head. That's one way to look at it when you're nine. Or we have the Samlex inverter, which gave us virtually a pure sine wave at right at about 60 hertz. So, which one do we want to plug in? Our MacBook Pro, which costs four thousand dollars. Samlex one, Samlex power. Yep, Samlex. Big wins. blue one, bigger the better. <laughs> Seventy-three.